Hello everybody, and this is Argon Matrix, and I'm welcoming you to the first episode of my new Let's Play. Actually, the first episode of my first Let's Play. I guess it is new, but it's also my first one. And as you can plainly see, it is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Just in case you couldn't get that by the title. Some people say Ocarina, some people say Ocarina. I prefer Ocarina, and I think that's the technically correct way of pronouncing it. I'm not entirely sure about that, but... I think it is. So anyways, uh, yeah, uh, ugh, that was a voice crack. But this game has been really overdone for SNLP. So, I don't know, I, may, I might not be making a smart move by starting with this, but just I, I just wanted to get it done. Well, not get it done, I wanted to get it started because I just love this game so much. I've only played through it actually two or three times. One of which was just the practice run that I finished recently, but... Yeah. It's a really great game. If you haven't played it yet, I recommend you do. Hey, maybe you can play it with me, because, you know, it is a let's play, not like an I play or something. So anyways, I guess we can just get started here. I see this is my practice file, I named myself Link, which I'm not going to be doing for my LP file. Instead, I'm going to take the route that everyone seems to be doing all these LPers and just name myself after my own channel name, which is Argon Matrix. But since that won't actually fit in the namespace that we're giving here, I'll just go with Argon. I could go with Matrix, but I don't really care. It doesn't really matter either way. But so anyways, um yeah, and now we can start a new file. So, we're about to have a nice little cutscene here, actually kind of a long cutscene for the intro. So I'm just going to kind of shut up and read the text, just to let you know. And yeah, hope you enjoy. In the vast deep forest of Hyrule, long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. Man, that's dark. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. Are the fairies actually good guardians? Like, I don't know. I Well, I, sa I said I was going to shut up during this. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. I said I would shut up during this. Now I'm making all these stupid comments around here. Like, hey, the, the fairies actually guard anything? No, of course they don't. They just L-target things for you. Ooh. Spooky. What's happening? I, I was just sleeping in bed, nice and quiet, and now I'm out in the rain. It must be really cold, too, because I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt, a tunic, a short sleeve tunic. And, nah, uh, nah, what? Wait, what? Oh, hello, what What are you doing? Oh, yeah, you lift your hand, that's really scary. Well, apparently it is really scary, just look at his stupid face, it's like, Whoa! It's like, I'm so scared, I think I'm gonna wet my pants. Ah, uh, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. Uh, why do you have to talk like that in that Shakespearean dialect? I don't even know what to call that, if it is dialect or not. Uh, listen to the words of the Deku Tree. But seriously, dude, do you have to talk in that Shakespe with those Shakespearean words? I get enough of that from my English teacher. Like, don't get me wrong, he's a very good English teacher. I'm honored to actually have him. He's probably one of the best in the country. In my country of Canada, I do not live in the United States. Um, but yeah, before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. Well, you're, what what would your power be good against? You're a tree. You're a stupid tree. You can't do anything. You can't move. You can't. You shouldn't even be able to talk. But this is Zelda, so I guess you have some kind of magical powers to like create fairies from wood or something. I don't know. Fly, Navi, fly. The fate of the war, the forest, nay, the world depends upon thee no pressure or anything, right? Anyways, so here's our Navi cam, I guess, which is what you would call it. And she goes between that guy's legs, that guy's Mido, as many of you may know. Hello. Uh, yeah. So anyways, about Navi, I I think she is annoying, but not too annoying. Like, she, she can be annoying at times, especially in the first dungeon. Uh, she is very annoying during that. But... Yeah, you, you kind of failed there, Navi. Why don't, why don't you fly over or around the fence? Instead of trying to be, like, stylish and fly through it. Were you trying for style points or something? I don't even know. So anyways, I guess she found our house here. 
Yeah, but Navi's not really that annoying throughout the rest of the game after the first dungeon. And it's basically just because the first dungeon is, is supposed to be a tutorial for you. Uh, come on, don't wake me up. I was having... Uh, uh, can Hyrule's destiny really depend on just a lazy boy? Well, don't... Isn't everyone tired as soon as they get out of bed? Like, that doesn't make them lazy, necessarily. Like, I'm always really tired when I get out of bed. It takes me, like, five minutes to get out of bed. Except for the one time I remember I just sprang out of bed. I was so hyped up. I don't know why, but whatever. Yeah, you're Navi the Fairy. Short for Navigator, I guess. Or Navigation, or something. I don't even know. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you're gonna be my partner from now on. But the only real purpose you serve is L-targeting. And I guess that is useful. And look, we're given our first control of Link. Yay! Uh, there's nothing for you to do in this house, so you might as well just leave. And welcome to the Kokiri Forest, where there are many, like, picks, many things of pixie dust that float through the air day in and day out. Uh, who's this girl? She ha She's wearing all green, she has green hair, she has a blue fairy, that doesn't really match, kind of clashes. Well, actually, no, green and blue don't clash, never mind. Uh, what is this, St. Patrick's Day? Look at all the green everywhere. Oh my gosh, it's it's still February, you know, it's not March yet. Uh, wow, a fairy! Finally a fairy came to you, Argon. Wow, that's great news. I'm so happy for you. So happy. Now you're a true Kokiri, Argon. Is that right? The great Dekatri has summoned you? Yeah, he summoned me. I'm, I've been summoned to court for tr for sexual harassment reasons. So I better go talk to him. But unfortunately, since Mido, as we saw in the Navi cam, is blocking the way, he won't let us pass to the sword and the shield, so it's pretty much pointless to go over there unless you want some kind of funny dialogue. Uh, yeah, I recommend picking as many rupees as you possibly can. You can get rupees by, like, breaking rocks and going through grass and stuff, and yeah. Because you're going to need 40 rupees to buy something pretty soon here. So anyways, um, yeah, so we're on a quest for a sword and a shield. That's the first thing after you do, is go shopping. Well, not shopping for the sword, just shopping for the shield. Man, that was a lot of shh sounds there. I'm surprised I didn't screw that up. Although I probably did, and I just... Someone might point that out at some point, but... Whatever. So anyways, there's this huge boulder that I always thought looked like a Goron after my first time through the game. I was like, oh, that looks like a rolling Goron, kind of. But no, it's not a Goron. You can't try a bomb and talk to it or anything. It's just a rock. If, you, if it hits you, it's a quarter heart of damage, which is ridiculous. Like, it would just smush you. It would kill you instantly, pretty much. So, here we have this big epic scene of Link getting his very first sword. The Kokiri Sword. And, yeah, it has a nice ruby-encrusted hilt there. The blade is actually really short. What is that, like a foot? I mean, my dick is bigger than that. Like, how am I supposed to kill anything with this? Well, I guess it is kind of pointy. But it, it it's shiny, too. Anyway, so, unlike in most Zelda games, they don't, you don't get auto-equipped with this sword. You have to equip it yourself. Just to make it all the more real, I guess. Add that little bit of realism to the game. So, anyways, um... Yeah, oh, na my Navi icon is flashing. What do you want, Navi? Uh, the Great Dicky Tree has summoned you. Please come with me. No. How am I supposed to come with you? Like, you're not... You, I can't follow you or anything if you're inside my hat. I think that's where she goes, actually. It looks like she goes inside his hat all the time. Like, what's she doing in there? Wouldn't that disturb Link? Wouldn't his hat fall off sometimes? I don't know. Ah, uh, looks like we have a little bit of time left in this video, so I might as well just show you where to get some rupees. Now that you have a sword, you can cut the grass here, and sometimes, not all the time, it's kind of random you will come upon a rupee, or three actually, at some point. Uh, come on, give me rupees. Oh yeah, I see three rupees right there. That puts us up to 14. Oh yeah. Okay, so another few another few spots where you can get rupees. Over here, you can break the rocks if you want. But, there's it's kind of scarce that you get rupees out of rocks, I won't lie. But there's a blue rupee behind that house, and that gives you five. Uh, if you go inside the house, this is Mido's house, by the way, we're going to rob him a little bit here. We're going to open this chest and take his one rupee. Like, seriously, why would you keep a green rupee in a chest? That's like keeping a dollar in a, in a bank account or something, just like leaving it there forever. So anyways, there's another five rupees, there's another five rupees. Inside this chest, it's kind of creepy, Mido has a heart inside this chest. It's like, 
Why would you keep a heart inside a chest? That screams murder. Like, seriously, it does. So anyways, whenever you leave and come out of the house, and then all the rupees in the grass will respawn too, so... That's another good trick. I think there's two in this grass too. Two, 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 two. And we'll just hop over here. Uh, there's another five rupees that randomly pops out of the air there for a p no apparent reason. I don't know how that works. Oh, come on, get, give me one last rupee. I only need one more rupee, and if I if I can end the video with 40 rupees, that would be pretty epic. Oh, I only have like 20 seconds left here. <laughs> All right, get yeah, guys. I guess I'll just. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. Okay, so in the next episode, I'll have 40 rupees, and I'll just meet you around here. So this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.